Prepare to more joyfully celebrate the coming of Christ into the world. And in today's gospel, St. Matthew gives us the very reason that our Lord came into the world. He came in order that we may be saved, for it was not the will of his heavenly Father that even the, that even the littlest one be lost. And so a sacrifice would be necessary to deliver mankind from his sin, and that sacrifice must be an eternal one because, because when a finite creature offends its good God, there is an infinite offense. And so only the Son of God could have offered reparation for our sin. And that is re the real reason why we are joyful on Christmas Day. For we know on Christmas Day that the Lord comes and is first revealed to all mankind. And so the love of God the Father is revealed to all mankind. And so there is no need for despair in the world for the Savior truly has come and he has come to deliver us. Indeed, scripture seems to indicate to us a marvel that is truly beyond the finite creature's comprehension to believe. For we know strictly speaking that it is not true, but it seems according to scripture that God has made his happiness conditioned on a creature's response to his love. Strictly speaking, again, we must make the, the, the careful distinction that we know it is not true. For finite creatures cannot increase the joy or the glory or the power of God one iota, even if all were to save their soul, God is not augmented in the least bit. But nonetheless, scripture does seem to reveal a great mystery that God wishes and desires us to respond to, our, to his love in order that we may be happy. And so we truly have a good God. We have nothing to fear. And so the Christian life is really the truly only authentic life that can be lived in this world. For ultimately, it is the life that, that holds out to all mankind the final goal that God has created for each and every one of us to take joy and glory in the mystery of God's mercy revealed on Christmas Day and the love of God that would be revealed to us all uh, on, on Mount Calvary and to live that life in this world as sojourners knowing that ultimately God wishes to bequeath to each and every one of us the greatest of all gifts, that is, to be with him for all eternity in heaven. And so let us truly resolve this Christmas day to grow more and more in our faith, more and more in love of the good God who did not abandon us in our sins, but sent his only son so that truly we may have life. And the Lord came in order to conquer so that the will of his heavenly father in him would truly be fulfilled, that not even the littlest one would be lost. And so Christ has done all that is necessary for us to save our souls. The only thing lacking in the mystery of our salvation is our cooperation with the sacrifice of Christ. For God, if he is love, must not take from his creatures that most precious of all gifts, their free will, by which they can choose to love their good God in this life and to enjoy him for all eternity in the life to come, or to love the pleasures and the things of this of this world in this life and suffer eternal damnation in the life to come. Let us pray that we always persevere in our faith in the Christmas mystery. And let us also pray that all those who do not, who do not or have not come yet to enter into this mystery may before parting from this life, truly embrace it with all their mind, with all their heart, and with all their soul, so that all may join the company of angels and saints, praising the good God, praising our good God together for all eternity. Oh,